Minneapolis to discuss what is on the agenda. Gentlemen, good morning. Daniel, thanks. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for sticking around for us. My pleasure. So this is going to be an interesting session that begins next week. Car insurance, vacation rentals, COVID liability, all issues. What do you see as some of the main issues that will be discussed? Well, you just hit four of the big issues at this point. I guess the good point to start with is that there will be no tax increase this year in Florida. Our budget is a very healthy position, unlike many other states. So the good news is no tax increase. There will be a balanced budget. There will be a bunch of fights, of course, as you brought up. Maybe the highlight of the issue right now is car insurance. As you probably know, we have what's called PIP. PIP is where if you get an offender vendor, you're covered for the first $10,000 of, let's just say, medical care. But they're looking to change that law to put it where it's instead of being a no fault insurance, which is PIP, where we make it at fault, meaning that if you're at fault, you would be the one responsible for all the payments. Yeah, Mike, our car insurance and our family up almost 50% in the last year. That's one of the downsides of living in Florida. We pay more here, so hopefully they'll figure that out. Let's talk about Florida being in much better shape than some of these states that are really dire financial straits, but that still doesn't mean we won't have some tough budget decisions coming up. Yeah, there's going to be still some tough budget decisions this year, especially dealing with local government, schools, etc. There's been a lot of debate with Florida schools staying open this entire time. Will there be some back end costs that might go up? And also, remember, schools pay for their own health insurance as they're usually self funded. And so there could be some pressure points there as health insurance costs continue to rise. But in general, as we look at it right now, the Florida budget's in pretty good position for two reasons. One, we've stayed open. And the second part is, remember, back in uh, last summer, there's a big COVID relief bill. So the state of Florida received a lot of funding on that front. Uh, I guess the question will be in general with all the national discussion we had earlier at 730, if Florida's in good financial shape, should they bail out states that aren't in such good financial states like uh, let's say California, New York, Illinois, et cetera. That seems to be some of the, the scuttlebutt that's going around the Capitol right now that why should we pay for other states' problems in, in times like this? That'll be a big debate for sure. And certainly vaccines are important all across the country, but definitely in Florida where we've got tourism is our number one driver of the economy. Uh, we've now seen over 2 million seniors in Florida get vaccinated. That is great news. It really is. I think almost a half the seniors that have requested have now received at least one of the shots, and so they're on their way to the vaccine in full capacity. Uh, that said, also, you're seeing an influx of people coming into the states. We've all seen the cost of our of our houses rise. We're getting a lot of pressure. People say, hey, do you want to sell your house? Because there's someone up north or out west that wants to buy the home. So there's a lot of positive news coming out right now in Florida. We hope that it will sustain, but that's one of the reasons, again, why our budget is in a strong position, and we're seeing issues that, that maybe as many uh, other people aren't as focused on, they'll focus on in Florida because they don't have some of these budget pressures. That includes things like vacation rentals. Uh, this includes things like giving uh, businesses a relief, meaning making sure they're not getting sued if they follow the typical CDC protocols with COVID. Mike, real quick, how contentious do you think it'll be between Republicans and Democrats in Tallahassee this year? Oh, I think it'll still be very contentious on the typical issues, whether it be pro-life, pro-choice, of course, guns. Uh, those are the typical issues. The Democrats are calling for some increases or radical increases in issues like health insurance, meaning having more people on Medicaid. Those will be the typical fights. But in general, the good news is it won't be over the budget as much like in other states. All right. And it all starts next week in Tallahassee, March 2nd. Mike, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Ryan. That is former state Senate President Mike Caradopoulos. Amy, back to you. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, Coco.